a promised investment into the historic west side in a part of the valley that's long been overlooked. It's all part of a new collective vision right here. The Marble Manor Apartments are in a part of Las Vegas that is in need of some TLC. And now it looks like it could get a makeover in a big way with some new federal funding. It is crucial for us to be able to have a cultural centers and um, projects that are going to focus on the revitalization of our neighborhood with us at the center. This is Tashika Lawson. She didn't grow up on the historic West Side, a traditionally African-American part of Las Vegas, but she spent summers there as a child. This is the historic heart of the black community, so I want to know what's going on in our community. Now she's helping her mother open a mailbox business there, and she's excited to hear about the $50 million in federal funding that's been earmarked for the area specifically for the Marble Manor Apartments neighborhood. But she also wants to see how it all unfolds to gauge how it could affect the business she's helping to get off the ground. What would a project like that do for this area as well? I'd say that that's going to be very dependent on if who they're targeting as their residents. The grant money will come through the Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority and will be available this fall. The plan is for an additional nearly 400 housing units at Marble Manor and will include updates for existing units. What is affordable housing? Shannon Rabb has lived on the west side since 1966. She understands how this and other redevelopment projects are needed. It just, it needs to be upgraded. Officials say the money will also help to add a job training center, recreation centers, and a garden and grocery store. Reporting from the historic West Side, I'm Brian Horwath.